Hey guys, it's Molly. I am finally finished straightening up my studio and I am ready to paint, ready to mess it back up again, I guess. So I've got all my shelves kind of organized now and tonight I wanna do a mallet smash. This is only my second time trying. My first try was a disaster. You'll see the canvas because I'm gonna reuse it but I really wanted to give it another try. So this one's inspired by Ann Osborne. I'll link her channel down below. Let's get started. Hi everybody. I wanted to do tonight, first time, well, technically second time ever doing it, a mallet smash. So this is inspired by Ann Osborne. I'll link her channel down below. She has done some amazing ones of these. Um, this was my first try. I'm going to paint over it. It, it. My paints were too thin. I learned a lot on this one. I love the cell reaction I got. I love the little lines I drew in it, but the paint was just too thin. My colors were too thin and the, uh, you know, I had them almost like a Dutch pour. This paint is much thicker. So I'm going to, I'm not going to blow dry this paint out. I'm actually going to spread it with my spatula. I just got this with my um, cake spinner, which is how I spin paintings. So I'm just gonna spread this on out and then I'm gonna tilt it to get full coverage. So, because I do want a good layer of paint on this canvas. So let me just spread this out a little bit more. Okay. I'm using some fun colors tonight, purples, and blues. A lot of you people have been asking about, you people, <laughs> a lot of people have been asking about the um, paint stands that I used and I have, was working with a company to make some and it has, COVID has shut that down for now, but they are from Home Depot. They are called sprinkler helmets, so. All right, more to come for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna tilt and you can see the paint starts moving. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in the middle here. All right, tilt it on off. There we go, now it's moving well. And the paint will level out for the most part, even when it's kind of thick like this. Like this is about the consistency I use for my ring pours and my straight pours. Tilt this way. Get it over my lowly Bethany mat. <laughs> okay, now I have an in, a thin, even an in. A th I can't talk today, you guys. Okay, end the video. Molly can't speak. Just a little bit more around the sides. And that is it. Okay, it's actually pretty funny because I don't even remember the last time that I tilted to cover the painting on the base. That's how long I've been doing the blow dryer technique. But you gotta try something different every now and again, right? I mean, my channel is about exploring art. I can't teach you guys if I don't explore it and learn it, right? So, okay, I'm gonna, so this is a primary magenta and these colors are thick as well. And I learned my lesson the first time as well. You don't want to puddle these too. Oh, they may be too thick. You don't want to puddle them too much because you'll just end up with a pool when you hit it with the hammer, the mallet. And I'm going to kind of wrap them around in little spirals. And not each one needs to have all the colors in it. It's really interesting when they have different Okay, so my next one I think I'll do, I'm gonna do it kind of like this, 
like I had the other design. So I'm gonna do one right there, one right there. I'm gonna do a purple one up here, a big one. So I'm just gonna spiral all these colors into each other. I hope they're not too thick. They look kind of thick, guys. right there in the middle. This is my regular pouring medium. This is not my old school. Um, this is not paint and water. I really can't talk today, you guys. This might be one to music. <laughs> little bit of orange on top of this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. This part always <laughs> this makes me nervous. Okay, let's see what happens. Ready? Oh, I need my paper towels. Oh, can you guys see that? Wow, that the bottom of that mallet is gorgeous. Okay. I like the little squigglies. Oh, there we go. really cool. I think I still had too much paint left on here even though I tilted a bunch of it off. There we go. You almost got to like move the mallet around a little bit. Just trying something fun and different tonight. And you want to wipe your mallet off too because it gets kind of muddy. do this at home you definitely need a bunch of uh, coverage like plastic or something I'm really liking this I want to kind of connect these I think that's just kind of what my mind was telling me I like and then I think feel like I want maybe just one. This is a more muted puddle down here. I feel like maybe I want just one more kind of bright orangey, orangey puddle right up here. The orange and magenta. Maybe a little bit of gold. Okay. All right, here we go. I don't know how you do this, Anne. Hers come out looking so beautiful. This is totally different. I'm just taking my finger and kind of drawing little designs in this, which I kind of like. It's adding like a little bit of dimension. This section over here is absolutely gorgeous. I 
may almost be done with this. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of bright blue right in here. The striations in this, when I get you down on a close-up, the, the striations in this are phenomenal. Can't wait to show you guys. I am gonna play around with this again. Okay. I don't wanna to muddy too many areas. Every time you hit something, it's like, it disrupts like the entire ecosphere of what it was living in. That was real art talk right there. Think. I think maybe I, I think maybe I want to be done. What do you guys think? I, I like the negative space up here. I like my little curly cues that I did to connect things. Yeah, this one right here bothers me though. Okay, what do you guys think? I really like it. This, this one, dang it. This one right there. I don't like that one. I feel like maybe just a little bit of that orange right there and the maroon. And maybe one touch of blue. I love this color scheme. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more time. Hit one more. I just sprayed that all the way across the <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is happening? I like that little bright splatter there. Totally different. But you guys know I love that. I love trying new things. It is so exciting. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm done. I like it kind of messy. This is super duper cool. I'm going to take you down and show you. Okay, so this probably did not look like much from the angle that you guys saw. I'm going to try to go slow so that you guys can get but like look at those little curly cues all the different marks that are in there. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you could literally stare, I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy, at this painting for like a week. This is my favorite area up here. That little burst of color that's right there. That's my favorite section. Wow. So totally cool. I'm very, very happy with this. For, for my second try, I will take it. All right, I'll show you how it dries. This piece is so cool. All those little bits and pieces, the gold little pieces that pop through. All those little designs stayed exactly in place. Oh my gosh. My favorite part up there. Let me see if I can, yeah, see that gold? Craziness. <laughs> I love it. 
so pretty. You guys let me know. All right. Thanks for watching. Yep, the painting. Bye.